The Brownstone by Paula Scher. Mr. Bear was walking home to his quiet little brownstone when he noticed a familiar chill in the air. It was time for the family to take their long winter nap. The bears lived on the first floor. Miss Cat lived across the hall. The pigs and the mice lived on the second floor. And the kangaroos and Mr. Owl, the landlord, lived on the top floor. That night, the bears finished dinner, slipped into their pajamas, and snuggled into bed. Mr. Bear set the alarm for March and turned out the light when... do re meow sounded from across the hall. What is that noise? asked Mr. Bear. We will never get to sleep. Mr. Bear knocked on Mr. Owl's door, startling him out of his chair. Crash! What can I do for you, Mr. Bear? It's Miss Cat. She's too loud and we can't sleep, said Mr. Bear. Perhaps the pigs will change apartments with you. Then you would have the mice next door. They're nice and quiet. The pigs were quite willing to change apartments with the bears. They'd always wanted to live on the ground floor. Soon the staircase was busy. The bears moved up the stairs. The pigs moved down the stairs. Before long, all was quiet again. The pigs cooked dinner, the scent wafting across the hall. The bears climbed into their beds once more and were all falling asleep when... Thump, thump, thumpity, thump sounded over their heads. What is that noise? growled Mr. Bear. What is that smell? cried Miss Cat. Mr. Bear and Miss Cat marched up to Mr. Owl's door. Knock, 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 crash. Mr. Owl was startled out of his chair once more. What can I do for you, Mr. Bear, Miss Cat? It's the kangaroos, said Mr. Bear. They are louder than Miss Cat. It's the pigs, said Miss Cat. Their cooking smells awful. Mr. Owl had an idea. Soon, the staircase was busy again. Mr. Owl moved across the hall to the kangaroo's apartment. The kangaroos and the mice all moved down one floor. The pigs moved upstairs to Mr. Owl's old apartment, and Miss Cat moved across the hall to where the pigs had just left. The bears stayed put. But once everyone was settled, the bears went back to bed. Upstairs, the pigs were eating. Mr. Owl was reading. On the second floor, the kangaroos were dancing. The bears were sleeping. Downstairs, Miss Cat was cleaning, and the mice were thinking about dinner when... Thump, thump, thumpity thump! What is that noise? The mice ran into the hallway to see what was happening and saw their new neighbor across the hall. Miss Cat was thinking about dinner, too. The mice ran upstairs to see Mr. Owl. Tap, tap, tap! Crash! What can I do for you, Mr. Mouse? asked Mr. Owl. We can't live across for Miss Cat, squeaked Mr. Mouse. And we still can't sleep, roared Mr. Bear, coming up the stairs. Once again, the staircase was busy. The bears changed apartments with the pigs so that no one lived above them. Mr. Owl switched apartments with the mice so that they were as far away as possible from Miss Cat. Mr. Owl sank into his armchair with a sigh of relief when thump, thump, thumpity thump, crash! What is all that noise? shouted Mr. Owl. The bears want to sleep. Miss Cat wants to sing. The mice want not to be eaten. The pigs want to eat, the kangaroos want to dance, and all I want is peace and quiet. Everyone was quiet while Mr. Owl worked out a solution. Soon, 
Just when it seemed like they might all have to move from their beloved little brownstone, Mr. Owl shouted, I've got it! The staircase was very busy. The kangaroos moved across from Miss Cat. The mice moved across from the pigs. Mr. Owl moved back into his old apartment, and the bears moved across the hall. The bear snuggled back into bed, and Mr. Owl settled into his reading chair. Soon, the only sounds on the top floor were soft snores. On the second floor, the pigs invited their old neighbors over for dinner. And on the first floor, Miss Cat and the kangaroos discovered their mutual love of music and sang and danced the night away. But eventually, even the first floor called it a night and the little brownstone was quiet.